Well, here's a follow-up on the uh, little dimmer I showed you guys last week. Um, this is what it went into. You can see it's just a, a box. I loosened the screws already. A few connectors on the front, and it's got an IEC connector on the side. And internally, you just have breakout board. Here's the dimmer board I've modified. You can probably see it's got a... Um, I just strung two 13-volt zeners in series on the input. So this, you get about 20 volts here, and then I replace the regulator with the 78L112. So this gives me 12 volt, 0 and 12 volts, because I'm no longer using a logic level MOSFET. This is an IRFZ24, which is a um, 60 volt, like 4 or 5 amp diode, excuse me, MOSFET. Um, and another nice thing about the higher voltage rail is that it switches a lot more rapidly. Everything else otherwise works fine. The zeners, it draws about 20 milliamps now, and the zeners get a little warm, but I don't really worry about it too much. Um, actually, I just finished assembling it. I need to glue the main cap down, which I'm going to do in a minute. Just find my hot glue gun and just stick it down to the box, and it'll be fine. And then you just have a big transformer I dug out of the parts bin and rectified. I get about 40 volts, and I'm running 48 volt fans off it, but they're pretty frickin' noisy even at 40 volts. I mean, I think I normally have them down at, like, 20 volts or so. They just have trouble taking over. So anyways, it was, you know, no board modifications, everything fits nicely. Um, it actually had holes for a, a TO220 FET, which was really nice. Um, so I just, you know, sucked the old one off and cleaned the holes out with some desoldering braid and plugged the new one in. It works fine. Footprint's correct and everything. It's just sitting on some standoffs. And then these all just for these connectors are in parallel. And then here's where the fans connect. Um, it's a pretty neat project. I probably should insulate the um, line input, but I'm kind of lazy and it hasn't blown up yet. <laughs> so there you go. And then in a second I will take you show my server closet and you can see what I'm doing with it. So while I was thinking of it as a safety precaution, I just gooped up all of the line voltage in here. So theoretically that should keep it a little safer. Also, you can see just a four diode discrete bridge rectifier. Not high tech, but it works. So here's my homebrew server closet. You can see actually here's where the fans are installed. So the whole thing runs under positive pressure. You can probably see I've just got these to show me there's airflow. So I've just got a bog standard furnace filter. I just mis cut up a little, you know, made a little wooden bracket that it fits into nicely. And the end result is that because it's under positive pressure, because again it's filtered, I don't ever have to dust any of the computers in the closet. So as you can see, this is getting... It's pretty linted up. Um, you can see there's a lot of kind of fuzz on it. Um, you can hear the fan speed change when I close it. In here we just have, you know, patch panel. A couple more patch panels. So this is... Um, Super micro. The wobble cam. So this is just a super micro. Uh, just my, it's my router. Just a super micro atom motherboard. This is a Linux box that I use to run an SVN server for my own use. And this is, um, it's actually a Windows 8 or Windows Server 2008 box with a whole bunch of hard drives in it that runs a whole bunch of Hyper V VMs. And then I've just got more hard drives. A professional mass and then Wi-Fi up at the top and then you know lots of cabling runs around the house so there's actually this is uh, I have cable drops in most of the rooms and they all terminate to here and then I've got a big 24 port uh, managed gigabit switch that uh, just lets me keep track of everything and then down at the bottom there's the whole pile of UPS's oops there they are so everything's dps and then just enter the door you just see the fans and then there's just two holes cut up there now, actually one of the things i did notice once i turn this thing on is uh if i dim it or turn the fans down oh do they squeal so i'm gonna have to rework that so the fans don't make a fucking obnoxious noise on pwm so normally what i was previously doing is i was just running the whole thing out of variac and changing the voltage but um well now they're pulsed with modulation speed controlled but they 
you know, they whine because of the pulse width modulation frequency. So I'm going to have to do something about that. But anyways, excuse me, that's what it's all for.